My name is Nora Njuraine. Uh, I joined the project in 1985. Uh, today I was to explain uh, how to ID male from a female and talk a little bit about age. How can you tell uh, different from a male and a female? First of all, males they grow bigger than females. Females they stop growing when they reach the age of 55 years and they start changing the shape of the body. And for the males, they keep on growing the rest of their life. So it's so easy even to tell by the size of the body. Also, you can tell by the, by the head shape. For males, they have a roundish, a forehead is round, roundish, and for female, uh, it's pointed. And also you can tell, because the, the male grow the rest of their life, you can tell by the size of the task. The male, they have thicker task, and female have thinner task. Uh, for the calves, when they are being born, when they are young, young, we just uh, check the sex organ. For this, I can explain a little bit how you can tell between the female and male by the shape of the sex organ. For the male, the shape, uh, the sheath, uh, uh, it's just carved forward, forward uh, toward the belly. And for the females, uh, it's hung down like a, like a bag. Uh, the shape of the gentle hung down. And sometimes uh, it's hard to see that. So sometimes we just wait when they're suckling because they always suck all the time. So you wait when they're suckling, they, you can just, just see the sex organ because they put it out. And also sometimes you can tell by the behavior the male, they are so playful and sometimes naughty, kicking the young ones. And you can see a female just taking care of the young ones. Aging the calf uh, is easy. Because the calf, when they are newborn, you can tell by the, by the body. They have pinkish ears and hairy body. And when they grow up, up to the age of some months, you, they can pass through under the mother's belly. The calf always with the mother, so you can use the height uh, relative to the mother. When they reach one year old, uh, no, we, they can just pass under the mother's uh, belly, but it can scrub. Two to three years, no way they can pass again under the mother's belly. When they are three years, they are just at the reach of the elbow, when standing near the mother. Four to five years is uh, the time they reach the mother's inner flap. Six to seven years, they are almost the quarter of the, of the size of the mother. So even if they are not near the mother, you can tell by the size of the tusk because the tusks keep on growing. When they are two, two, two and a half years, that is time you can see the little tusks showing. Sometimes we find it hard to to age females, and that's why we have to use a lot of uh, a lot of things, using the back, uh, using the body size, using the head, and also using the tusk. So uh, when female, uh, when they are just teenage, let's say two, 10 to 15 years, their body, they are just like box. When they, they, they grow older, over 20 years, 25 years, that's the time you can see they are just starting changing the shape of the body. Meaning that uh, when looking at a female from the head to the tail, the body started getting longer and longer. So over 35 years, you see the body, the back get, start get, getting carved and longer. And that's the time uh, you use even the head. And also they have, uh, they get that shape of up cut back because of belly hanging down because of curling babies. Aging female, we have to use a lot of things. Even the head is get sucking in when they get the age of 50 years old. And also the cheek, they get sucking in because elephants, they have six set of the teeth. When they are over 50 years, they have uh, the last set of the teeth and they again starting getting uh, sucking in when they reach the age of over 50. Uh, aging males is, I can say, is easier than aging females because the males grow 
the rest of their life. They never stop growing. So 10 to 15 years old, the tusk circumference and shoulder height greater than females, same age. 15 to 20, same height females over 40. 25 to 40, head shape to hourglass, shoulder height increases steadily. Of a 40, get very big tower of a largest females by three feet of a shoulder and have thick neck and thick tusk. And that's why you see from the eye, they get wider. Then uh, between the eye and the base of the tusk get uh, thinner. So between the eye and the base of the tusk, that make the hourglass when they are over 40 years old. Yeah, here we have a male. I want to figure out who is he. Yeah, it's Duke. Born in 1995. You can see the marks that how we ID them by the marks of the years. Yeah, we have a male, uh, 21 years old. His name is Duke. We age them by the size of the body because males they do grow the rest of their life, not like females, they stop growing. So, the males, when they reach the age of let's say 17 years, is the same size of the, the same size of a female of 55 years old. So you can imagine how the male get bigger than the females. And also you can see uh, in aging with males you can use the task, but not the length of the task, but the base of the task and thickness of the task. Because the more they grow, the more they get thicker and the area of the eye, it gets bigger. So when a male is about 17 years, you can, the face is just a long, have, they have long face. And when they get older, the base of the tusk gets wider, and, the, and the, uh, the area of the eye gets again wider. So they have the shape we call it hourglass. So it's easier to tell when they are, let's say, over 25 years. Because when they reach the 25 years, that is the time you can see the, the, the ship I'm talking about, of the hourglass. This is Pizarro. He's 42 years old. How I can tell he is 42 years old is by the size of the body. When they are over 40, they are big tower over the large females. They have big head, a huge tusk, and huge neck, and big neck. A aging elephants is difficult, so you have to, you need to have a lot of experience. Females between 25 to 35 is so hard to see uh, all things I have been talking about when aging female. But uh, when they are young, it's easy because you can look and left and see this as teenager. That is easy to see. But and again, when they are old, over 55 years, that one no for sure you can tell is old. But when starting uh, training people how to age elephant, you can see sometimes they don't understand. They don't realize what we are talking about. So you need a lot of experience. And uh, like us, it's easy because you have seen for them for many years. So you can see all these things I, I have been talking about in aging uh, elephants. I have been explaining about, uh, about aging the elephants, but I just talk about the basic of aging elephants. If you have interest, it can take uh, six, six months to one year. For me, it's very easy because now I have stayed for the elephants for the last 31 years. So it's easy to see all things I have been talking about.